Hello everyone, I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and in today's Tinker Shop tutorial, we're going to learn how to create designs that will be engraved onto glasses. Begin by opening up your Inkscape program by clicking on the icon. You'll notice that there's a square in the middle of your page, and this is known as a canvas. Anything that you design within this canvas will be captured by the program, but anything that you put outside of this canvas will not be captured. The first step that I like to do when creating designs to be etched on wine glasses or beer glasses is I like to edit my document properties. Let's start by measuring our wine glass. Now when it does get put into the laser cutter it'll actually be put on its side and there's a clamp here that holds it down and then it will rotate it as it engraves. So if you're having an idea that you want your design in the middle of your glass I would take your ruler and I would measure from the top to about right where the curve is, or if you want to measure all the way around, we're going to wrap our measuring tape around and we're going to go to about eight inch, go to about eight inches. And that's what we're going to put into our document properties. I'll go up to the file menu, click on file, click document properties, and I'm going to just switch units and display units to IN for inches. Next, we're going to enter the width of our wine glass, and I'm going to use three inches for the width, and I'm going to use eight inches for the height. You'll notice that your canvas has now changed. Now remember that your wine glass will be laying on its side when it's being engraved. So keep in mind that the top here of your wine glass is this part of your canvas, and this is the bottom. So anything, this is, this is the complete radius of your wine glass. You have the option to either add just one image in the middle of your canvas, or if you'd like, you can also do a wraparound by filling up the entire square. First, I'm going to add some text. I'm just going to go over to my toolbar. I'm going to click the text icon, and I'm going to click anywhere on the page. At the top, you have some options here. You can either center your text. You can also choose a different font style. If you want to make your text bigger or smaller, go back to your move tool, click on it. You will notice that arrows and some lines have appeared around your text. You can click and drag your text to make it bigger. You can also click it a second time if you want to rotate it. And click it again if you just want to click and move it. Next, let's import an image. I'm going to go into Google Chrome, click on the icon, and I'm just going to look for a simple black and white image. When you are creating uh, designs for the laser cutter. You want to make sure that you have crisp lines and you want to make sure that it is a simple uh, image such as a silhouette or um, any kind of clip art. So I'm just going to type in compass black and white. I'm going to click on images and some examples here. Uh, for instance, this image would be a good example. Um, this one not so much for this one. This is where an actual picture it becomes too much detail oriented and it will not work. So I'm just going to click on this simple image here and I'm going to right click on top of it. I'm going to click save image as. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. Next I'm going to go back into Inkscape. I'm going to go to file, import, and find my image. There we go. I'm going to click open, click OK. We're going to go up to the path menu, click on path, and click trace bitmap. A window will open and all you have to do is hit update and hit OK. It doesn't look like much has happened right now. Let's close that window. But if you click and drag your image over, you can see that there's two different versions. This one has a transparent background, and this one does not. The one that does not have a transparent background, you can delete that one. So let's make our image a little bit smaller by clicking and dragging it. I'm also going to go up to the menu here and I'm going to let it rotate counterclockwise. I'm going to right click on top of it and I'm click, going to click duplicate and now I should have two images. So my glass design is now complete and I need to save it. So I'm going to go up to file, save as, um, I'm going to click glass and I'm going to select a plain SVG, click save. And I'm also going to save it a second time. I'm going to go to File, Save As, um, and I'm also going to select PDF, Portable Document Format. Click Save, and click OK. 
And that is how you would create a design to be engraved on a set of glasses. Now you can do this again with any kind of different glass. These glasses are also great to be personalized, given away as gifts uh, for special celebrations or anniversaries. I'm Rachel from the Innisville Idea Lab and Library, and you just learned how to create designs to be engraved on glasses. So that's today's Tinker Shop tutorial. Thanks guys and have a great day.